Mala, Mala, Brother Anthony. Brother Billy, I, I told you uh, a bit ago that I was on a trip with one of my uh, research groups out of Dumbaza, you know, in September, St. Julie. Well, I went on another trip with my other research group over there on the Monkley up here in Alice, the special skills, you know, the special needs school. We took a trip, you know, the other trip that went to Bijou. This trip went the other way. With these kids, we went to PE, Port Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. You know, that didn't bode well. I should, I, you know, here's the thing. I never liked Port Elizabeth. Reminds me of Buffalo, New York. Industrial, a lot of potholes, because there's a lot of trucks, blah, blah, blah. Doesn't matter. But the point is, we went there, and they went, we went to three separate. Because we needed to take the kids out of the village, get into the big city, you know, see some things. So they went and visited uh, another school. Uh, um, their, their name was Manzamokle. Out there. It's a state run school, so they got a lot of, you know, they got big kind of people, they got vans and all the rest of that stuff, big school. Uh, but you know, our kids were pretty good. A lot more discipline in that school there. We were a lot more well, you know, behaved, mannered. I won't say better citizens, because I don't know the school exactly. And we had a good time there. Then we went and visited Love Life. Now, here's where I got into a little trouble here. Yeah, I, I, I admit it, I, I caused it. You know, they was going around different places, right? And then they sat in one room because it was an orientation. And all the women, they said that the rows were all on the chair. Chairs were on the row, you know? And so I, I just asked the facilitator, the guy was taking them, I said, how come, you know, we have enough room here? Why don't we put these things in a semicircle? He said, because that's where the next people want it. And like that. I said, so they still, you know, they just hold on to the colonial way of doing things. I shouldn't have said that. Hmm. He said, he said, well, you know, how would they want it if they want to put the face to the wall? Or they could. I said, no, you don't understand. I, I'm, I'm trying to figure out. I said, you know, we come from most African cultures. I know they go in circles. They deal with circles, semicircles, you know. So hey, if you go to your apartment, there's a horseshoe. I can tell them I was just at the traditional leader's place and that was a horseshoe too, you know, but I can't say that. And, and, and I said, you know, UN kind of, you know, circular thing, you know, going like that. I said, you know, if you're African, aren't you supposed to have that? He said, well, we have to do what the client and the people say. I said, but no, you're African. They have to do what you say. Oh, oh, oh. I had to end it there because I can tell he was, he was getting a little miffed. You know what I mean? So I said, I'll lift it down. Okay, so they, they had a good time. They just talked on the radio because of Love Life. You know, they had a little Love Life radio station. It was really good. Then, here's where I got to my second trouble. Like I said, I think it's just P.E., but that's not, that could be me saying it's P.E. We went to the SABC in P.E., big studio, you know, figure the kids to see the DJ, whatever they, they look at that kind of thing. And so we went through this detector and everything like that. And then they said, I couldn't carry my camera in. I pointed to a sign, you know, no guns, <laughs> no, <laughs> no whatever, no cameras right there, no, no cameras. You know. And I said, well, don't you realize my camera's like, what's my camera? It's got how many? Five times, what, 16 pixel. I got a 16 pixel camera. I said, you know, you got cell phones that got more pixels than that better resolution. Why, you know, I said, I'll just keep my camera. No, you gotta leave it at the desk. That's the rules. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not gonna argue with the guard because, you know, that's his job. He has to do what he said. And when I say they get cameras all over the place and, and, you know, they can see in Pretoria, wherever they are, in Joburg, wherever they can see what's going on in all the other SABC places. And I don't want to get the guy in trouble. But I'm going like, this is the problem. <laughs> if I had Google Glasses on, I could survey the whole place. <laughs> they, they have no rules against that. They're behind the times. But that's the thing. South Africa, we're behind the times. We got antiquated rules. Nobody revisits these rules. Mm -hmm. I mean, the rules. I'm not that rules are made to be broken, but rules are made to be revisited. Mm -hmm. And not only that, why would you not want your places photographed or your DJs photographed? It's not like these some big time, you know, millionaire DJs, or maybe they are millionaire DJs, I don't know. But even so, in this day in the world, you're supposed to share everything. That's how you get your brand out there. They're clustering themselves, you know, clustering themselves, mm -hmm. sequestering themselves away from, you know? So you know what I did? I said, I don't need to see this place. <laughs> see, I've been doing radio for a long time. I know 
radio, TV, movies. I've done all of that stuff. Modeling, all the kind of things I did. So I don't need to see some rinky dink organization that won't let me have my camera, which I don't even have to take a picture. I just, you know, I didn't want to. So anyway, that's the problems I caused in this second trip. But the kids had a great time, you know, it was really good. Mm. And uh, they learned something, and I learned something. I learned that Africans, I'm sorry, South Africans. Well, I should say some agencies in South Africa, they live in, in the, you know, colonial time, last centuries. They still got them rules from them. Anyway, I'm just, I'm just probably going crazy because it's a dispatch. And I usually go crazy on my dispatch. And I go, oh, that's a dispatch from the arts director emeritus. That would be me, T, from the palace, taking the train to Tibet. Letting you know what I only suspect. Mm.